So guys from the channel, welcome to another video. Today is going to be a quick video where I'm going to do a test of a keyed power supply from China that I bought to make a project of a subscriber and this source promises 12 volts 20 amps. As that in the project I calculated more or less that I would use a current of 15 amps at 12 volts I asked the customer to buy a source of 12 volts 20 amps because what they promise never arrives, except for some brands, they even arrive if it is a better. I am not generalizing and I am not denigrating any image of the company from sources, on the contrary, when the company promises that voltage and that current it has to fulfill, you will see my bench here, all of the most top of the line equipment for us to do this test, I'm even with the glasses here to protect from a capacitor bursting in my eyes so use the safety glasses. So here on the bench the best equipment in the world to do this test. So I'm here with this power supply. This is the Lumi 240 watts 12 volt power supply, right, it promises here 12 volts 20 amps, made in China, I was suspicious, because inside it, people who have a legal knowledge, see that it's a flyback topology source, it doesn't seem to deliver the 20 amps, right. But we're going to draw the conclusions here by doing a basic test here that everyone can do that we can't judge the book by its cover, so let's see if at least it comes close, because I told them. Client that at least at reaching 15 amps is fine, that's why I asked for 20 amps, for it to reach the 15 amps that I need for the project, I have it here so to start the test, as I don't have many top of the line equipment, I said jokingly at the beginning of the video, so I have this lamp here that it consumes 4 amps of current, a 12 volt automotive lamp. It is connected in parallel here with a resistor of shower, is on here in S series with my multimeter, it's a Hikari multimeter and such and. It can withstand a maximum current of 10 amps, so that's why I put this mud in parallel, because there's no way to test 20 amps and I also don't have a DC ammeter for to be able to measure this current, I'm going to measure the current by changing the resistivity of the resistance, as I get closer to this blue wire, I'm decreasing the resistance and I'm increasing the power and then I'm increasing the current. Let's see how much it cuts because it has her protection, the shunt and disarming the source so she doesn't burn, and that's also normal right? So this lamp here, it will turn on at its maximum brightness, because the source normally supports 4 amps, I will turn it on here for you to see, so it will turn on its maximum brightness there. So she turned it on at its maximum brightness, this lamp by itself consumes 4 amps, right? I'll measure it later for you to see, so let's see if it at least gets close to 15 amps, close to 20 amps, remembering that I'm limited to 10 amps of the maximum current of this multimeter, so come on, I'll leave this lamp down here so it doesn't overshadow the image on the camera, I'm going to put these pliers because it gets very hot and can pierce the cloth, so I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to turn on the multimeter on the current scale, current of 10 amps and I'm going to turn on the source. So here in the resistance part, as I decrease the resistivity here, look, the current increases, so on the multimeter, this is the current that is passing, so I decrease, there are already 4 amps of the lamp, I decrease here the resistance and the current increases, look. Multimeter beeped because it already hit 10 amps, so it's 9 amps, so it's 4 amps from the lamp with more or less 9 amps from the resistance, it's already starting to boil a little, as you can see so 14 amps has arrived. If I decrease it a little more here, the multimeter beeps because it goes over 10 amps here, that's what its scale can handle. The probe of the multimeter heats up cool, and if I close a short here, the source goes there and disarms the source and goes into protection. So here, guys, it's just the lamp connected here at the source, and I'm going to show you that it consumed the 4 amps, that I was right, that I'm not fooling you, so it's here, the lamp is there connected in series with the multimeter, so I'm going to plug it in here now. You see on the multimeter it consumes 4 amperes and 440 milliamps, adding it with 10 amps, even more because the multimeter trips, so it doesn't burn the scale, so it gives about 15 amps, this source must trip with about 16 amps, so practically it should deliver less than about 4 amps, sometimes it's within the tolerance range of the source, it says 20 amps but more or less, 5% of variation, sometimes it's even within the standard, right? 
but I got 20 just so she could deliver the 15, 16 amps I needed for the project, so that's it guys. So it's just a quick video for you there, just to check if it reaches the current that it promises, because we go to the seller and see the source 12 volts 10 amps, 12 volts 20 amps, and sometimes we're paying for a product that does not deliver that expectation that we want for our projects, so always be aware there, whenever you are going to calculate a project that you need 10 amps you buy a source of 15. If you are going to use a project that asks for 15 amps by a 20 amp supply, because Usually they don't deliver all the current, put a shunt there to be able to limit the current of this supply before to avoid overheating the diodes, and the high voltage switching transistors, so this is normal, not even it's no use going there and filing a complaint and changing it because the other source will be them for them unless you buy an automotive source then yes they deliver that, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this mini video, which I brought to you guys, subscribe to my channel, like, share with your friends, big hug. Stay with God and until the next video.